Hello, I'm Brian Comer with the law firm of Tobias McCormick and Comer, and I'm joined today by Corporal Jeremy Burkett with the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. Uh, Corporal Burkett, pl uh, pleasure to have you here. Appreciate you joining us today. Um, yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We're uh, going to start. It's about to be Memorial Day, but before we get to that, I want to talk about motorcycle safety. As I understand it, this is Motorcycle Safety Awareness Month. Uh, so could you tell us a little bit maybe uh, first about motorcycles on the road and what the operators should really keep in mind who are actually driving the motorcycles. Yes, sir. So again, we ask that, that motorcyclists or people that are going to be riding a motorcycle or operating a motorcycle, think about the things that they need to, to have on before they even get on the motorcycle. Uh, especially if, if they're a new rider, they're, they're just getting into operating a motorcycle, they need to make sure they have the proper safety equipment, such as a DOT, Department of Transportation approved helmet. And we, and we recommend that everybody wear a full face helmet. So it's, it's not only covering your head, but it's also covering your face. And then in the appropriate attire, so in the, in the state of Alabama, it is a law that you have to have shoes on when you operate a motorcycle, but we encourage everybody to have some type of tall boots that's gonna cover their ankles. That way, if, if something was to happen and that motorcycle was to turn over and you come in contact with that contact surface, there's a barrier between you and that surface. So we, we urge everybody to wear long pants, long sleeves, a jacket, and then especially if you're gonna be operating a motorcycle at night, have on some type of reflective material, you know, have that, have that stored. In the same way with your headlight, even in the daytime, if you're on a motorcycle, have that headlight on, that way you're giving those motorists an opportunity to see you. You wanna make yourself as visible to everybody on the highway as possible. So that's what we're encouraging people to do. Think about, think about the things before you get on that motorcycle, make sure you have the right safety equipment on, and then during the daytime, but especially during the nighttime hours, that you are as visible as possible to the other motorists. Sure, and obviously it, it stands to reason too that you wanna to make sure that you're not drinking while you're operating the motorcycle as it would be even more dangerous, I would imagine, trying to balance on a motorcycle. Ab absolutely, we, we just truly ask anybody, you know, we say don't drink and ride. It, that's just terrible. I mean, um, you know, 80% of the crashes that occur on a motorcycle either result in fatality death or an injury. Mm. So out of all the crashes, 80%, if you, if you have an accident or have a crash on that motorcycle, there's an 80% chance it's either gonna cause an injury to you or result in some type of death or fatality. So we just truly urge everybody, if you, if you feel like that you're gonna get on that motorcycle, do not consume any alcohol, sure. period. Do not sure. consume an alcoholic beverage if you plan to be operating a motorcycle, Sure, that's, that's just the safest way to be. Now what about Absolutely. for for motorists, uh, particularly on busier times, as the weather's getting nicer, as COVID uh, hopefully is easing up on us a little bit and people are gonna get back out on the roads, what should motorists keep in mind as it relates to motorcycles and how to be safer? Well, we're just asking, we're asking people to be aware of motorcycles. We understand, you know, motorcycles account for relatively a small portion of the vehicles that you'll see, and, and you'll, you don't see them year round. Right. So we're, we're coming up on the springtime, you know, Memorial Day, this extended Memorial Day holiday kind of marks the unofficial beginning of summer. So you're gonna start to see those motorcycles out there. We just ask everybody to be aware of them, to understand, to anticipate their movements, how, how they're gonna ride, how they're gonna stop. And, and another thing is the blind spots. Just please take the time to check your rear view mirror. It's very easy for a motorcycle because it is relatively small to get in that blind spot, especially when you're changing lanes or, or, or you're making a turn, you don't see them. But then we also ask the riders to be aware of that. Don't, don't as you're coming up on somebody, give them plenty of time to pick you up and don't ride in the blind spot. That's right. what we, you know, on the motorcycle safety course, if you go through a basic motorcycle safety course, that's gonna be one of the, the premier tips. Do not ride in somebody's blind spot. Sure. And and I, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. No. And I'm sure too, as, as technology increases on cars, I know we see more of those blind spot sensors mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And I think that, that sometimes people maybe rely on those a little bit too much, but it's always still a good practice to look over your shoulder and, and check that blind spot before you change lanes, right? Abs absolutely. Use, you know, you've, you've, there's, you should have a passenger side, driver side, and a rear view mirror mounted on the windshield. Utilize all, all of those mirrors. And then, like I say, give yourself time. It's, you, need, you need to check. That this is what we really encourage everybody to do and understand. We encourage you to give yourself time. 
don't don't look in the mirror as you're changing lanes once you decide that you need to change lanes because of course you need to put on signal to do so you, you know you need to put on your signal device and you need to look in that mirror and then make sure there's nothing coming and then change lanes sure. that's 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 a huge issue where you people will check the rearview mirror as they're in that lane change or they're putting on the blinker as they're executing that movement and then it's usually too late sure well, and I saw a bumper sticker uh, recently, and I'd seen seen them before. Look twice for motorcycles, and I think that's, that's probably that's a good idea. That's very relevant right now to this discussion. You're exactly right. That's sure. exactly right. And I think, I guess, if you could encapsulate both uh, from the driver's perspective and from the operator of the motorcycle's perspective, it sounds like everybody just needs to take a breath and be patient, and particularly as the traffic increases and just be cognizant of people around you and, and take things a little bit slower. Yeah, that's exactly right. Just we're asking for that heightened sense of awareness, that situational awareness. Um, just be aware of it and think about it ahead of time. Think, understand that you may see motorcycles out there and anticipate those things. And especially if you're on the motorcycle, if you are the rider, you know, you've got to be a defensive driver. Sure. You, you've got to be able to, to anticipate things and you've got to be ever vigilant when you're on that motorcycle uh, to be able to watch out for those other motorists that may not be aware of you. Sure, and it's such a, a, a razor thin margin of error on the motorcycle. Absolutely. Uh, so that's why it's even more so important. All right, well thank you so much, uh, Corporal Burkett, for coming. That was really uh, insightful uh, information, both from the motorcycle operators uh, perspective as well as those of us not on a motorcycle but on the roadways to be be on the lookout for motorcycles out there. So we appreciate your time. Yes, and, uh, sir. Thank, thank you very much. Thanks for letting us come. Yes, yes sir. sir.